Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Subdizer here with a new video of Clash Royale. So in this video, I'm going to uh, to use a strategy with the Lava Hound. So I'm going to show you how I'm using the Lava Hound and how it truly works. So I use the Lava Hound with the Archer, Inferno Tower, Elixir Collector and the uh, the Musketeer Balloon, uh, the Balloon, the Arrows and the Valkyrie. So I'm going to show you a replay because it's really hard. Uh, because to me, I really find out that the uh, the Lava Hound is not an easy card to deal with. I think you have to train a lot with different kind of strategies, and I lost a lot of trophies. I can tell just to figure out a good one. So into, so that I can so that I do not really want to lose another kind another trophy again or trophy. So I'm going to show you a replay and show you how. Basically, do I use this and also if you do have the lava hound just try this and tell me how it works So basically What's really perfect about the lava hound is to use it as a combination with the balloon because Let's say if you drop the lava hound first uh, the towers or uh, the other building uh, Basically the towers troops or anything that will be dropped in front of the lava hound by then it can distract the it, it can distract everything then we can drop the balloon since the balloon deals more damage so the lava hound is basically not as such big damage it's exactly same like let's say the golem is just to distract any kind it's just a distraction of air card sometimes that's why i think you need to try or to figure out a good way to attack or to to try to manage how to reach to that tower without losing your lava hound so yeah i think this is basically what i know so far about the lava hound so as you can see here when the lava hound dies the lava pops come out they are basically like the minions but they do not deal damage as much as the minions do but they are still good since they are they came out from the lava hound so basically guys if you do have the lava hound and if it's really time sort of your best card and you know how to use it just tell me in the comments down below what are the best cards to what are the best cards to use with the, with this lava hound. All right, again with the same way, but so I've noticed it's really difficult for me to get any like if I have the barbarians, maybe it's good to distract like the hog rider. But I think the out of reach cards they are good since the balloon and the lava hound like uh, are since they go to the towers and the buildings. It's really good to have maybe a musketeer and archers since I do not have the princess I think when I do have her I think it will be a really perfect strategy so yeah and using the Valkyrie to do using the Valkyrie to counter the barbarians or the wizards or just any kind of cards and using the inferno tower because many people as you all know using the using many people right now using uh, the royal giant so in terms of using the valkyrie i think uh, in terms of using the inferno tower can really destroy it or really make us uh, really easily to win so as you can see now in here all the tower is aiming to the lava and now to the lava hound and as you can see here i'm glad that my musketeer is dealing good damage towards the tower now just using the arrows I can basically win this one easily so here is a victory. So yeah I think that's it really for this video guys I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share for more Clash Royale. I'm going to show you more different strategies but it's really hard to use the Lava Hound. If you do have good strategy just tell me in the comments down below that would mean a lot to me. And it seems like my Clash Royale has been stuck in here because probably of the connection. So yeah, that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed watching, again, please tell me in the comments down below what are the best cards, to, what are the best cards with the Lava Hound. Goodbye and see you later guys.